so uh, uh, we had uh, the very important information about trends that already exist for last 10 20 years in europe regarding uh, migration of uh, health personnel i would like to tackle the future of course future is uncertain but we do have certain uh, already official forecasts and uh, on the basis of Lithuanian statistics of recent developments in uh, <clears throat> Lithuanian uh, uh, migration patterns, I will try to, 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 to consider uh, what may be different options uh, to those uh, expressed in uh, uh, forecasts developed by Eurostat or SED or Lithuanian Department of Statistics may happen. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this is a slide on uh, <clears throat> population uh, growth. And unfortunately, a uh, forecast for 2020, 2030 uh, developed by OECD or Eurostat or Department of Statistics shows the, the population of Lithuania. My country lost a lot of people, almost 1 million since 1990. And according main forecast, the trend is going to continue regardless of forecast or different assumptions in the projection. Now let's look to GDP growth for Lithuania small country. So not so many people involved in forecasting, but we do have some. For example, in 2015, we had forecast uh, by a city. It's Lithuania, Latvia, Poland as an example, and we see that for all countries, a slower growth is uh, predicted because of slower productivity and most likely the same depopulation what was reflected on the first slide. Now, uh, closer to health, uh, depopulation and uh, slow growth of GDP may result in decrease of uh, health spendings to GDP. This is against uh, forecast for, from OECD, and you see for Lithuania it's foreseen that uh, share of uh, total health expenditures will decrease from 6.5% to 6.2% during uh, 15 years. It is an opposite to general trade for OECD countries, where growth from 0.8% 8, 8 8 to 10.4% is predicted. So. Now, uh, if this forecast uh, will be correct, so quite likely that demand of healthcare labor force in Central and Eastern European country, because Lithuania is just an example, will decrease. And in this case, outflow of medical personnel may be not a brain drain, but a factor reducing brain waste caused by unemployment in uh, resource countries. So this is one uh, scenario of the development, but maybe we can look for more optimistic option. For example, when you're looking to Lithuanian figures on net migration, that means emigration minus uh, immigration, uh, you see that it's true that in 2010 was big outflow, 80,000 of people lost to Lithuania, but it is a reduction by years. And since 19, we have already uh, blue those columns and a positive net migration to Lithuania. So question is, is it an exception because of Brexit or COVID or some other issues, or it's a new normal? Demographers think that it's exception because again, further you see uh, uh, figures forecast by Lithuanian St Department of Statistics is saying that uh, emigration or loss of population will continue in years to come. But let's look to economics. Usually there is an assumption that migration is related to economic development. Uh, most of Central European uh, countries are slowly but catching with Western Europe regarding GDP per capita. Here are figures from Eurostat, uh, GDP per capita assumed that European average is 100 in uh, purchasing power uh, parities. 
And we see that Lithuanian uh, share is growing from 61% during the last 10 years to 84. Uh, Britain's, it's the biggest uh, uh, country of uh, migration from most Central European countries, is going down from 111 to uh, of 104. So there is a convergence. And if there is a convergence, quite likely migration should go down. And this is just statistics where on X axis we have share of Lithuania in this case, uh, two of GDP per capita to European average. It's growing and here it's migration and it's quite clear trend that uh, convergence with Europe means reduction of migration and maybe even a positive migration in the nearest future. And here, uh, based on this assumption that convergence may change uh, migration patterns, uh, two different forecasts. The slow already shown uh, Department of Statistics forecast, which indicates that emigration or net negative migration will continue. This is a, a, a forecast uh, done by Health Economic Center by uh, commissioned by Lithuanian Ministry of Health. Now, let's assume that maybe Ministry of Health is biased. We want better figures uh, of migration for more budget in the future. But the average of those two estimates also is quite positive. Here are monthly figures. We are living in period of crisis and uh, sometimes early figures are not uh, uh, in enough, we need more precise funding, uh, <clears throat> more precise information. And again, each month you see uh, until 19, it was uh, uh, net migration, uh, this uh, line uh, with uh, net emigration, yeah, with pe lost people because of migration and because of natural increase. Uh, we still have negative natural increase, especially in December of this year because of COVID, but we have already quite strong uh, increase uh, because of migration. And uh, this is kind of support this more optimistic outlook for population growth. And here is uh, figures yeah, on not migration, but population of Lithuania. Uh, orange line is uh, forecast by Department of Statistics. Uh, Blue line is forecast commissioned by Ministry of Health, and this is average of those two forecasts. So nobody knows the future, but why not to assume that it will be brighter when <coughs> most uh, uh, is seeing it today. Again, <coughs> this is attempt also to bit upgrade forecast for GDP growth. Uh, Blue figures are uh, <clears throat> projection of OECD from 2015, and uh, uh, <clears throat> orange figures are uh, uh, projection of Health Economic Center. And uh, here it's again more interesting. Uh, it's a share of uh, GDP spent on health. Uh, these are figures, blue figures, blue columns, uh, forecasted by OECD. Uh, Lithuania, Latvia are the only OECD countries uh, for whom the basic scenario of OECD for a reduction of health spendings a share of GDP. A prognosis of uh, Ministry of Health is in opposite direction that uh, share of uh, health and GDP will grow the same as in most of OECD countries. If so, uh, quite likely we will have uh, much bigger healthcare expenditures. Again, with a combination of those two forecasts, a stronger demand for health labor workforce. And that's why probably different outlook for migration of doctors from Lithuania as well as other countries. So <clears throat> uh, I do not want to say that everything uh, looks bright uh, from Lithuanian perspective. And just example where Lithuania is doing not so well. Uh, and this was recorded meanwhile by OECD as well. Uh, Lithuania in its official documents, its Lithuanian health strategy for 2014-2025, uh, uh, 
decided to increase the uh, ratio of nurses to doctors from 1.8 to 2.7 in 2025. As you see, actual figures in blue are very different. Instead of growth, Lithuania has constant reduction of this ratio, and it is quite stable. So most likely, uh, this objective will not be <coughs> achieved, and, 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 and that's why uh, it makes sense to, 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 to talk about problems in the future as well. And now for conclusions. Countries of New Europe may gradually transform themselves from donors to recipients of workforce from third countries. Motive of this West migration in between EU countries from search for higher salary abroad may converge with those common to Western Europe. Management of medical deserts may be prioritized not just in the EU, uh, while problems of brain drain and brain waste will <coughs> constitute one of main issues of global policy. And the last question, should we talk about old and new Europe 15 years after the enlargement? Thank you.